Money is fundamental in our society. Money affects how we act, how we feel, how we spend most of our time during our lives. Money is super important, but can money really buy your happiness? Well, if you ask somebody with no money at all, they'll say, yeah, money will bring me more happiness. But if you look at rich people, they're not all super duper happy. So a lot of research has been done. And one thing is for sure, well, money can make you happier if you spend it the right way. Huh, hmm, interesting. So <laughs> what is that for you? What does that mean for you? Well, what I wanna do is take you through this video so that you understand what you need to spend money on and how much money you need so that there's a great balance between money and happiness for you in your life because it's different for everyone and it will make sense. I know what I'm talking about because I was in a space where I was working a corporate job and I was earning really good money, but I was deeply unhappy and I burned out. And that is the moment that I started thinking, wait a minute, I thought the more money, the more happy. Mm -mm -mm. And I realized through my burnout that that was not true. And then I started looking into, wait a minute, what am I spending my money on? What do I really want in my life? What are my core values so that I know I'm spending money on that, getting more of that, and that makes me so much more, so much happier. I'm now living a life of freedom, helping others to create that, that life that they desire so that they can be more happy, and I want that for you too. So what are researchers saying, and what is something to begin with that money cannot buy? Money cannot buy relationships. No, it can't. Okay, yes, people with a lot of money, they will have maybe, they attract more people around them, but meaningful, deep, loving relationships, money cannot buy. Money cannot buy fulfillment. The feeling of fulfillment, you can buy that. Money can cause a lot of stress. In fact, in America, money is the number one cause of stress. Think about um, divorces, oh, the fights about the money. Think about just marriages, the fights just because of the finances. Money can cause so much stress. Maybe you have a lot of money, you invested it in stocks, the market crashes, again, stress, right? You don't wanna lose money when you invest in something. Now, a lot of research has been done and there's one thing they really agree on and that is that Yes, there is a correlation with money and happiness up to a certain point. And that point is $75,000. So that means that below $75,000, you will become more happy the more money you have until the basic needs are met, you know, food, shelter, and that kind of thing. So when you reach that level of $75,000 and you earn more money, doesn't mean that you become more happy. That's the way it is. That's the threshold. Also, what is happiness? Happiness is defined by the degree of your subjective well-being. And your subjective well-being is measured by the degree of emotional well-being and your life evaluation. So that means joy, um, spending time with loved ones, having fun, leisure time, all of that affects your emotional well-being. And that is what measures your degree of subjective well-being, and that is what is called happiness. So yes, you can become more happy with more money up to a certain degree. Now, what are things that money can buy? Money can buy things. Money can buy material objects. It can buy a car, a house, um, nice clothes, designer clothes, a handbag, computers, technology. I mean, not technology, electronics. You know, money can buy all these things. But will that make you more happy? Well, the truth is that it's experiences that make you more happy. The, the doing more than the having. What does this mean? Going on a holiday, a concert, a festival, all of those experiences, traveling, those memories, that time that you spend with loved ones, with other people, that time that you're having fun, those memories, those experiences, that 
significantly increases happiness. And that's the clue here. If you know what your values are, what really excites you, that is, if you spend money on that, that will make you happier. For me, for example, my biggest core value is freedom. And freedom for me means traveling around the world, being inspired by new locations, meeting new people, just constantly the new, the excitement, the fear also, but the excitement of new places, new people, new experiences. That, when I think back about all the places around the world that I've been and I'm still going to, that excites me, that drives me, that makes me happy. So yes, I will make sure that I spend money on that. If I have enough money to do that, I am happy. I am happy. And yes, we need money because it can buy us things, but you need to really think about what is it that you really value. And what makes people happy is time, the freedom of time for me as well, to do what I want, to go where I want, to, to do the things when I want. That time, time spent with your loved ones, maybe with your kids. And how do you get more time? Well, if you have more money, it means that you can outsource certain tasks. It means that if you have money, maybe you can do um, a simple job for a few hours and then you know you have enough money and you don't need to do a second job because people with no money they maybe need two or three jobs so they can provide you know for themselves and their family and they they don't have time they don't have that time so money can buy you time time that you can outsource all those tasks and you can spend time how you want it with whom you want it see how how, how important it is to figure out what makes you happy. What does that freedom mean to you? What is your core value? Spend money on that. Make sure, make sure you have money to spend on that. And so here comes, you know, the, the, the point where you need to make a plan. You need to, if you're in, in a, in, stuck in a career right now and, and, and you want more freedom and you want more time, then let's figure out a plan that you can do more of what you love. Be happier day after day after day. Life is too short. You don't want to live life without, with regrets, you know, you, the pain, the pain of regret is, is huge. That has been researched over and over again. So the pain of change is smaller than the pain of regret. The pain of regret is bigger than the pain of change. What I mean is that changing your life, changing your career, changing um, what you're doing is less dramatic and less intense and so much better than having that pain of regret at the end of your life. And you look back and you're like, oh, I wish I had done that. No, do it now. Do it now, no matter what age you are, do it now. I, I guarantee you, you can live that life of freedom and, and fulfillment. And yes, then money can make you happy. And if you know what to spend it on. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you look at the video um, rules of money, which can make you grow your money and invest your money. And I'll see you again in my next video. And make sure to subscribe, like, um, comment, please let me know about you. Let me know your questions, your likes, your dislikes. Let me know. And I'll see you next week.